So without further ado, let me turn it over to our very own Greg Williams, and I take you to the live opening of the time capsule from 1974. Take it away, Greg. Hi, thanks. I'm Greg Williams, Director of Archives and Special Collections, and here is the time capsule. Um, I want to thank uh, Provost Spagna and President Parham for including the archives in the event today. And first, I want to introduce the Dean of the Library, Stephanie Brazley, and um, uh, Trini Yanez, who has helped dig up the uh, thing. But Dean Brazley, you want to take this off? Hello, and welcome to the University Library's Girth Archives and Special Collections, where you will find an excellent array of diverse uh, and authentic primary source materials and special collections books that will aid in your research and in your courses. And I'd also like to give a shout out to the continued excellent work that our research and instruction team has done to bring, even in this remote time, some great research help to you. Be sure and visit both the Girth Archives uh, website and our university library website for more information about our services. And then I am really delighted that I am going to be part of this unveiling of the artifacts and mementos from 1974. Um, I'm hoping that there's something exciting in it that shows what was going on at that time. And perhaps we will have something in the future that uh, uh, chronicles what is the transformation that's going on here at uh, Dominguez Hills and our aspirations for the future. But I turn it back over to you, Greg, for some context. Okay, so the, the touchstone uh, connection that the early campus made uh, to the 1910 air meet was that we were trying to connect this campus to local history. And that's what we did with this air meet. The plaque that was the, the time capsule was in, uh, was uh, placed in 1974, but the original plaque here was placed on another plaque in 1941. It got stolen and lost and was almost sold, and now it's, it's here again. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is have Trini help me unveil this thing. There's something in there, but you know, it could be, it could be confetti, there could be nothing, like the provost mentioned Al Capone's vault. It, it could be uh, stuff from 1974 at the campus, or it could be something out of the Raiders of Lost, the Lost Ark, you know, poison <laughs> or something seeping through there. So how are we gonna do this here? Okay, so let's you gotta set it, or you can just hold it there. All right. And we'll begin to tap it here. Live action here. Live action. Okay. Hey, there it is. Ah. No. <laughs> what could it be? Well, oh, there's something in here. Another PVC pipe. <laughs> Um, wow, that's great. And look at this. There is a um, oh, no. of Cal State, Cal State College, Dominguez Hills. And uh, it's taped with tape. And uh, well, here we are. I'm going to see what, uh, stand back. <laughs> oh, there. Oh, they made it easy. A screw top. Okay, so here it is. What are we going to do now? Oh, there's a button. It says win. Win. Okay. Do you have any idea what that meant in 1974? Win. Win. Well, I'm going to take a guess and Mr. Provost, you, you can look it up. In, in like after Nixon resigned, there was some kind of uh, attempt to um, uh, Beat inflation. Hmm. Why do I know this? I don't know. Hmm. Whip inflation now. Hmm. Here. And you're put that over there. Here is uh, uh, B1 rollout 1974. 
Well, that's a, that's an aviation related thing. So we have something and, uh, celebrating the B-1 bomber of 1970s. I guess so. Uh, here is a note with a sort of a Teddy, Teddy, uh, Teddy Vike thing. What does this say? Betty Reed, Grand President. Okay, well, we'll, we'll go there. And then next. <laughs> Um, there was a Compton history organization that helped put this event on. These are a little damp, but what's this? Uh, this is a press release for the, um, the, the, the commemorating the marker. And basically I already have this in here, times, but that's okay. A duplicate. Yeah. Okay. We're going to pull all this out. Ooh, look at that. All right, here we go. Uh, something's peeling. Uh, okay, this is uh, Rockwell International, a newspaper. So there was an aviation theme going on here. Big aviation theme with the B1. Um, this is uh, the headline of the L.A. Times. Man, they, they did that stuff that morning. Huh. All right, here we are. Uh, 18 checks missed in March. The city computer ruled out as a forgery. <laughs> and Marcos instilled stability. Order, huh. if not freedom. Okay. Huh. Here um, so it looks like we're dealing with paper and... A lot of aerospace or aeronautics. Stuff. Yes, and CSUDH. Uh, I do not know what's in this thing. This is the seed. So maybe somebody can can plant something. Hmm. It says, uh, I can't read it, but who knew? Wow. This is a, a organization called the Native Daughters of the Golden West, which was related to the um, the folks who put this on, and we got more more seeds. What else we got? Um, there's the B one bomber again. Okay. Um, this is another document relating to the Golden West organization, and what do we got? A photograph. Okay. This is a photograph of President Leo Kane with, uh, at the time of the, 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 the burial of the time capsule. And, oh, look at this. This is the original program for the event that buried the, the time capsule. And um, very, very carefully, there we go. Uh, OK. This is not very, this is an article about the unveiling in 1941 of this monument before it was stolen. They had to take it down for construction, but they, uh, they did that. Oh my God. Well, Greg, I'm, I'm going to give you a second here to kind of finish up and then we're going to proceed. What's that, right. what's that, that sign document there? Okay, here's the, here's a letter from Ronald Reagan, the governor. Hmm. And here's a letter from Glenn Dumpke, the chancellor. Hmm. And uh, there's just uh, a pamphlet for the Dominguez Water Corporation hmm. uh, on the history of the location. So there we go. So um, a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff in that small capsule, and uh, I, I think that uh, it actually be wonderful as as we archive it, we could send out this list, maybe even put it on the library uh, homepage. Sure. To, uh, show uh, some of the artifacts, and I'm going to ask you for a favor, Greg. When we put together our time capsule uh, to capture what it was like during the time of the pandemic, let's include an executive summary etched on the outside, and we can uh, we can uh, identify the artifacts within it. To kind of give us the uh, the roadmap as we go through it, but it looks like you found some really interesting things there that have historical significance to the campus. 
It is. It's great stuff. And uh, hopefully that new time capsule, we, we could say we'll open it on the 100th anniversary of the campus in 2016. There we go. There we go. Well, thank you. Thank you, team, for bringing that forward. And it was definitely a uh, surprise and uh, way surpasses Al Capone's vault. There was stuff in there that was very important. So thank you. Uh, that, that's must-see TV. Thank you so much.